everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill with this WBZ News Update. State police are investigating what caused a deadly crash in Andover this morning. It happened just after 1230. Officials say a 48-year-old Sturbridge man went off the right side of 93 and rolled over. He was pulled from the car and rushed to the hospital where he died as a result of his injuries. This North Carolina man is set to be charged with a murder that went unsolved for 32 years. Police arrested Michael Hand at his home on Friday. He's being brought back to Massachusetts as a suspect in the killing of 15-year-old Tracy Gilpin. Gilpin was the sister of the current state police superintendent, Carrie Gilpin. Residents along the coast still cleaning up from last week's nor'easter are working to prepare for the next storm set to hit Tuesday. Many homes were left without power and had severe damage caused from the last two nor'easters. This will be the third storm of its kind in just 10 days. Let's get a check on all of that with meteorologist Pamela Gardner. Pamela? And this time, Kate, we have blizzard warnings up for Cape Ann, Plymouth County, Cape Cod, and Martha's Vineyard tonight through Tuesday. Everyone else under a winter storm warning. The only difference between the blizzard warning and winter storm warning is that we experience probably more wind along the coast as well as that blowing and drifting snow and low visibility. But things go downhill after midnight tonight. Slowly we get a changeover from rain to snow. Then it's all snow after 5 a.m. for all locations. 9 o'clock into the afternoon, 1 to 3 inch snowfall rates per hour and perhaps a heavier snow band setting up right across the south shore, perhaps across Cape Cod. That is going to be something that we need to see where it just happens to set up. But everyone getting slammed with heavy snow through the evening commute as well. And then Tuesday night, things slowly taper off. But 14 to 18 inches or more from the North Shore to the South Shore. This does include Boston, 10 to 14 inches of snow across the outer Cape and Islands as well as Worcester County. We may increase these totals slightly later this afternoon. So stay tuned to the latest updates. Forecast wind gusts up to 65 miles an hour in the pink. That's where we have the blizzard warnings posted. 40 to 55 miles an hour across Boston. Coastal flooding an issue with this one too, but we have astronomical low tides compared to that big March 2nd coastal flood storm that had four big high tides. We have one tide to watch for, and this is where we had advisories and flood warnings out for either side of that Tuesday morning tide, two and a half to three and a half foot surge, moderate to severe erosion, pockets of moderate flooding. Here's a seven day forecast after that nor'easter. We start to quiet things down and we'll be back in the 40s for the weekend. All right, Pamela, thank you. I'm Kate Merrill. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.